everyone. You may be wondering why I have all these materials on my table. Um, so stick around and you will find out. Uh, so my name is Jen. I'm from Early Health Waterloo Region and welcome to Explore With Us. So for Explore With Us today, we are exploring stacking. And while we are exploring stacking, we'll be talking about a few different math concepts. Um, I'll, be interesting, I'll be introducing a really great resource um, that you can use at home to introduce early math concepts to your little ones. So, why don't I introduce some of the materials that I have on my table? So I have three paper towels. So as I introduce my items, I'll take them down off my table. I have an assortment of shapes. I have two bottles, empty bottles. Oops. I've got some tea containers. These are already stacked a little bit already. And then we've got some cans of beans. And then I have um, some more teas, but in boxes. Um, so as you can see, it's kind of a, a big assortment of items. Um, just really whatever I found around my house that I thought I could, I could try stacking um, on top of one another. So why don't we get started? I think I should try stacking my paper towels first. So these ones. Try stacking horizontally first, and I'm noticing that these ones aren't too difficult to stack. And this is where you can ask your little ones um, some different questions about the materials they're stacking. Um, so you could ask them about the height. Um, you could ask them about the flat surfaces on the end. Um, Maybe you could ask them, do you, does it, well, do you think that that's why that it stacks so easily? Um, and then we're going to try stacking the other way, and this might be challenging. Oh, I don't know. But as we're doing this, we're testing and we're learning about the curves and how maybe the curves aren't the best place to stack an object on because they're not the same. So through these observations um, and describing the different objects, um, we're helping to develop our little one's spatial, um, spatial, or spatial awareness. So let's move on to our T's. So I'm going to stack them horizontally first, similar to our paper towel. And they stack pretty well, maybe not as well as the paper towel, because I feel like it's not super steady. And it's not straight. Um, but again, got another opportunity to ask your little one um, about the shape and size. It's also another great opportunity to practice counting. Um, you could count as they're stacked. You could count as you're taking them off. You could count as you're putting them on a great opportunity um, to practice some number sense and as your children get more comfortable counting forward you can start counting backwards so we'll put those aside what should we do next let's choose one that might be a little bit more challenging we've got our bottles so i've got one bottle that's glass and i've got one bottle that's plastic so why don't we try doing the plastic one on top of the glass one and that doesn't stack all that well. I feel like if I really tried, I could get it to stay. Oh, there you go. Oh, maybe not. So I think that it's not stacking well because it doesn't have a flat surface on the bottom. Um, it kind of goes in. Why don't we try stacking our glass bottle on top of our plastic bottle? This is an opportunity where you could ask your little one. Um, questions beforehand, like, do you think the glass container is going to stack better on top of the plastic one? Um, and I'm going to guess that it will, 
because it's got a flatter surface on the bottom. There's a little bit of an indent, but not quite as much as the plastic bottle. You can see. I have to be careful doing this one because if the glass falls, I don't want anything to break. But look at that. It stacks much easier than the plastic bottle. And I think that's because there's a flat surface. So I'm learning that flat surfaces stack better than surfaces that aren't so flat. And I wonder too, if weight play a factor because my glass jar weighed more than my plastic jar. So maybe it had more weight to push, push itself onto the plastic one, or maybe the opposite. Maybe this one might have stacked well better if it had a flat surface because it weighs a lot less. I'm not sure, but if you really wanted to test it out, you could add different items inside of the bottles to increase their weight to see if that impacts um, whether or not they stack well. So moving on, we're going to try some of our tea boxes. So I've got a few different shapes. So why don't we try stacking our same sized boxes. So they stack really well. And I think it's because they have a soft surface. And they don't weigh very much. None of, none of these weigh very much. So this one is a different size. So I'm going to stack it. And I'm going to see how it goes. Hmm. So not bad. It does stack, but it doesn't feel as sturdy. So why don't we count those? We have one, two, three. As you notice, as I'm touching them to count them, this one on top of here is wobbling. So it's not stable. So I think when I'm stacking that my bigger items may do better being on the bottom. But we're going to test this out later. Bring these down. So the next, the last and the next items we're going to try stacking are the heaviest. Because these are, these are not open. There's still food inside of them. Don't worry. They will be eaten. <laughs> um, so let's try stacking them. Oh, hmm. They're not stacking that well. I think maybe because there's a flat surface, but before the flat surface, there's a rim that sticks out. So I'm trying to stack each can's rim onto each other, and they're not, it's not sticking that well. Let's try adding a third one. The third one stacks better because it looks like it doesn't have a rim like the others do on the bottom. That's just one observation I've made stacking them. Why don't we try stacking them horizontally? And that doesn't work. What if we have, or sorry, vertically. Yeah, vertically. Um, what if we try doing one horizontally and one vertically? See if we can stack them. Oh, see, there you go, we could. I wonder why. Maybe it's because our rim on the bottom one kind of creates support um, for our top can um, to sit on. But I'm really not sure. I'm just, I'm just guessing as I test out my theories. Now we're going to start stacking a few different items. So why don't we, we have our paper towel. Why don't we choose one of our smaller items? Let's choose our glass jar. I wonder, do you think then I'll be able to stack my paper towel on my glass jar. Oh, well, let's see. This might be tricky. Oh, there we go. If I think that was tricky because we've got a big surface on our paper towel and we've got a small surface on our bottle. So our big surface has to sit on a small surface. So there's more area for it to potentially fall down. Because when we were using our paper towels, stacking one on top of the other, they stacked really well. But 
the area that I was stacking on was the same size as um, the bottom of the other paper towel. Okay, so let's try one. Oh, sorry, we didn't do our shape. Let's make sure we do those. I've got lots of different shapes. So I'm looking at my shapes and I already know from testing out my other objects that flat surfaces and bigger items are best to be on the bottom. So I think my cube has the flattest surface and the largest surface. Now I'm looking, what else do I think that can stack well? These cylinders are a little smaller, so I know they're gonna stack better. And they also have pretty flat surfaces. So I'm going to stack that on top of my cube. And then there's another cylinder that's a little smaller. So I'm going to pick that one. That stacks well. And I'm going to pick, why don't I pick the taller cylinder? We'll see. It does have a flat surface. Let's see what else. Let's try our triangle. So our triangle has lots of flat surfaces, but it's in a different shape. Um, from the other one, the other tall cylinder, and the tall cylinder has a small surface on the top, and I have to, I have to stack my large surface on my triangle on my small cylinder. Oh, and it fits. I wonder, do you think we can stack anything on top of our triangle? Well, we can try. Let's try it. Let's try one of our rectangles. Oh, I don't know about this one. Nope, and I wonder, why do you think that is, that we couldn't stack the rectangle onto our triangle? Yeah, it's because there is, there really is no flat surface to rest it on, it's the point. So even if I put this on the ceiling, I don't know if I'd be able to stack anything on it, because it just, it doesn't have a flat surface to rest on. Why don't we try one of our cylinders? Our cube, maybe? No, I don't think we'll be able to stack anything onto our triangle because it doesn't have a flat surface. Um, so today, we learned that when we're stacking, the heavier items go best on the bottom, but they also need to have a large flat surface. Those are the best to start stacking on. Um, and I was inspired to create this activity um, by the article from zero to three, um, um, help your child develop early math skills. And it breaks down the different early math concepts and it gives you great activities on how to help develop those with your child at home and the different activities you can do. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day. If you're looking for more information, on our programs and services, please visit www.earlierinfo.ca. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.